everybody it's campfire Trish and I'm not in my back yard well we're camping at Belle Isle State Park in Lancaster Virginia uh, I'm gonna post a description to my review video um, or the I'm gonna post the video in the description I haven't had my coffee yet y'all it's made I just hadn't had a chance to drink it um, but in the description below and I think I'm gonna have another at least one other video um, related to me cooking here at the state park uh, we've been here in the past it's been a lot of fun and um, we're enjoying it so far again it did rain last night um, but you know it almost rains every single camping trip we do <laughs> so it's unexpected unexpected I should say um, but anyway this morning I'm going to be cooking something I've never done before so I'm excited and a little nervous to give it a try um, but I'm gonna be doing uh, omelet in a bag uh, so that's exciting main squeeze is actually not here at the moment so he's missing out <laughs> Uh, he's can't, uh, he's actually gone fishing this morning, um, so hopefully he'll bring home some fish to restock our freezer with, which will be yummy. But so we're gonna do um, omelet in a bag. Now we are under fire um, burning restrictions here, so we can't actually have an open fire or any type of fire until um, after 4 p.m. So. I'm gonna be um, you know, using our normal other techniques that we've used while camping since we do have electricity. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so I've got some water boiling um, over here and uh, we're gonna make some omelets in the bag and I'm hoping they're gonna be good because again, I've never done it before. It might be a flop, but we'll see. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I've got the water boiling nicely and now let's make the omelets i'm having to kind of make do because my table's all wet and um you know i just don't feel like getting to it I'm trying to clean it off right now so um i'm making do so i'm going to make it like kind of standing right here <laughs> it's kind of funny now i'm just kind of i've got some um quart size down um quart size freezer bag so freezer bags are very important to use um, because you don't want your bags to melt while it's cooking in your boiling water um and so and i'm also got to make things life easier i got egg beaters we like egg beaters um here so i'm using egg beaters but you can use um regular eggs if you want to i just didn't feel like transporting eggs and i could have popped them in a a um mason jar or something like that uh, at home, but you know, I didn't. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing um, some egg beaters. I'm gonna just pour, let's see, do a little bit more. Some right into the bag, just like that. And then you get to add whatever toppings you wanna do. Um, so I'm gonna add some ham, This is why this is so versatile that you can really add whatever you like. So if you've got picky eaters and you only want certain things, um, it's easy to do. And the cool thing with this is you actually can make it ahead of time. So you can have these made up in your um, cooler or your refrigerator if you have that. Oops, I think I need to add some more ham. Um, you can just add, you can make it up, stick them in there. And then when you're ready to do this, you can boil some water using your Dutch oven um, over the fire or on your gas grill or whatever you have, your heat source, um, and uh, boil it up. Real simple, real easy. And the cleanup, if you want, you can eat it right out the bag, which means like no cleanup. I'm gonna add, this is just American cheese um, to the bag. This is for my oldest daughter. My littlest daughter has um, decided not to have this. She actually had, <laughs> don't judge me, a Nutella sandwich for breakfast, so whatever. 
She's eight. There's that. So that's one. I'm going to go ahead and make up a second one and we're going to be cooking them in just a moment. Again, you can add whatever seasonings you like. I'm gonna add just a little bit of adobo to mine. So you can see I made like a little bit of a Western omelet um, with um, green peppers and onions, uh, ham and cheese as well. Mix that up. Look at that. All right, so now I'm hoping main squeeze made me think I was going to need to like hold this up off of the um let me take this off real quick main squeeze made me think that I was going to have to um keep these off the bottom of the pot I'm hoping not though nowhere else I've read said that. So I'm going to stick these in here. One, two, and for three eggs you're supposed to do um, I think three minutes and for six eggs you're supposed to do six minutes. So I'm just going to kind of guess, keep an eye on it, give it a time. And uh, you're supposed to cook them until they're firm, not runny anymore. So keep an eye on it and uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. These are looking pretty good. You can see that they're starting to set. The water just returned to boiling just a little bit ago. The bigger one is not ready yet though. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little while longer. It's not like it's gonna harm it. And um, I think they'll be done very soon. Right, so I ended up separating them out so they have a little bit more room to cook. But um, you can see here, I'm taking this is the bigger one out, and I've kind of taken it and made sure all the liquid stuff, trying to get that liquid stuff to move so it wouldn't be like in the middle. So I've just taken little tongs, squishing it about a little bit, just to kind of get it to move around a little. And then I'm gonna throw that back in to the, um, to the pot too, but this one I think is almost done. Almost set. You know, omelets sometimes are kind of hard. You've always got to be careful about that runny middle, right? <laughs> Depending on how you make your wallet, I mean, your wallet, your omelet. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one's almost ready. All right, let's take a peek at this one. This is the smaller of the two. That looks much better. Ooh, that looks good. There you go. I'm going to go give this one to my oldest daughter. And um, I think she's going to enjoy it. I'm going to put some cheddar cheese on the side all right so here they are and i wish main squeeze was here because i'd totally be sharing these with him this is this made a ton this is like a double batch maybe he'll come home soon put me out my misery for you trying to eat all this um but here it is i did um microwave the uh, microwave it for about 30 seconds to melt some cheese plus it was having a little trouble getting totally firm. I think I just added too much stuff. Um, and I'm funny, I don't really like, um, uh, I don't mind runny eggs some, so much, but it's time and circumstance. So um, it, it, it's not the time or the circumstance for runny eggs today for me. <laughs> but let's give this a try, look at that. Looks good. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. I need to add a little more salt to it, but with that stringy. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not the biggest breakfast fan, but these will be good. This would be good with, um, ooh, some hash browns maybe cooked in, like the other already um, sliced and cooked hash browns. That would have been probably pretty good. That would have been an extra little texture to kind of bring it all together. That and um, for me, I like sour cream. So sour cream would have been really yummy. I do have some ketchup. I might have to add some ketchup to my eggs. Do you guys like ketchup with your eggs? I occasionally do. I also have a tomato, so I can also slice up a tomato and put it with it as well. Main squeeze would be like, Ugh, he hates tomatoes. He likes ketchup and pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce, but he will not eat a tomato. I love them. I love fresh garden tomatoes. But anywho, um, so yeah, this is it. I'm gonna go and um, finish this up, get my coffee, cause I need it and uh, get off this wet chair. Cause even though it's underneath the awning, it still got wet last night. My butt's a little wet. Um, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give me a like and give me a comment. If you've ever made these before, what's your favorite omelet top it, um, toppings or uh, ingredients? Put it in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's free. All you have to do is um, sign in and hit the little subscribe button, hit those little bell notifications to get notified when I do put up new content. Um, I do put up a new video every um, Saturday morning at 8 a.m. So watch for it. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and until next time, bye.